Have you got a minute to learn about the behaviours dyslexics use to cope? When a child who is a strong visual thinker becomes confused and disorientates, they start to develop strategies to cope with how they're feeling about their inability to do the task. At school, a child who doesn't make sense of phonics and whose mind is desperately searching for the meaning of the words will start to show behaviours that will become compulsive. Some children develop the behaviour of becoming the class clown, doing something to make the other kids laugh. Children want to be liked, so doing something to make the other kids laugh shows the dyslexic that the other kids like them, and at least the other kids aren't making fun of their difficulty with reading. Other children become very quiet in the class, they disappear and they don't want to be noticed. When it's time for reading in the classroom, some children ask to go to the bathroom and they take a long time to come back. These behaviours and many more are all coping behaviours. They cope by using avoidance to get out of doing the job. Why? Because they can't do the job or they feel bad about making lots of mistakes. Unless these children are taught in the way they learn, they'll continue to develop compulsive behaviours as a reaction to the confusion and they continue into their adult life. If your child has had special ed at school or has a tutor to help with reading and they're still struggling, don't wait for another frustrating year because there's help and hope. If you'd like to contact me about the help I offer, please call me for a free, no obligation, 15 minute consultation or fill in the box on the side and I'll give you a call. Have a look at the next video to find out that this means difficulty.